here with this swimmer. Mm -hmm. How many medals have you won? Well, I have six right here from Beijing, um, and then I have five from Athens, so 11 total. Three gold, four silver, four bronze. Wow, that's yeah. amazing. Yeah, here, go ahead. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so how is it like being there in the Olympics? It's really crazy. You know, fortunately, I've been to the Olympics twice. I've been to Athens as well as Beijing. And in Athens, it had been a goal of mine for 15 years. And so when I was there, I just felt like I was kind of sleepwalking, like as a zombie, and I'm not really be being in the moment. And so when I was in Beijing, I was really present in the moment, and it was just, it's just so crazy and overwhelming, but it's an amazing experience. She's won 11 Olympic and 16 world medals. Please welcome Miss Natalie Cochran! Yeah. I brought my medals with me. <laughs> these are my Beijing medals. These are six of them. These are all Beijing. Um, I have three total golds, four silver, four bronze. Um, so from Beijing, it was one gold, two silver, three bronze. What was it like winning your first medal and, and walking to the podium for the first time? The first time I won gold, like I said, I won three. So fortunately, I, I've had different experiences with each of them. Um, the first gold was more than anything was relief because I was expected to win gold. I was the world record holder. I was the favorite, and um, that's a lot of pressure. And when I got up there, I was just so overwhelmed. I started singing the national anthem. And then at that moment, I realized that millions of people across the world were watching me, and I forgot the words <laughs> to the national anthem. And I looked up, and I saw my family um, in the stands. And it was a really cool. Um, experience and then um, the second time was a relay so I was there with my teammates and the third time was in Beijing and I was just overwhelmed and I started crying and it was ridiculous so every time is different every, every time is very the most very memorable different. too um, the most memorable was probably Beijing because okay. I am not emotional at all like I never cry and for whatever reason I was just overwhelmed and I just started bawling <laughs> and that's very unlike me so that's very memorable no, I understand you're a huge Twitter. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I started Twitter, I, I don't know, a few months ago, mainly just because I wanted to get my own name. And I, at first I was like, this is so stupid, you know, like, but I just did it and did it and did it. And I'm addicted, so you guys could follow me on Twitter. <laughs> Twitter. Awesome. What was yeah. your latest post? Um, my latest post was this morning saying that I was going to SF to um, film uh, Hey You Up There. Awesome. <laughs> Now, as, how, like, when you get up there now, do you still get the same butterflies when you walk oh up to the podium? Oh, my God. You have no idea. Like, butterflies is, you know, that's not even putting it, <laughs> putting it right. When you walk up, in, in Beijing, there are 18,000 people in the stands, and the stands just went so steep, so high on, on either side, and then you know that, like, millions and millions of people are watching you across the world, and um, you know that years and years and years of hard work go into a minute or you know two minutes of it competition good, though. it is terrifying like <laughs> i mean i've done it 11 times at the olympics and it's it's still terrifying it's fun but it's it, you know your legs feel like jello yeah. it's it's um it's hard wow. <laughs> what advice i mean we've got a lot of young kids watching a lot of kids in the audience what advice would you give to them at this age i think the main thing is to go out and make sure that your goals are your own they're not you know someone not someone else telling you what your goals are. You have to personally decide what they are. And realize that success is not necessarily, you know, gold medals at the Olympics. It can be just a personal best, you know, making a certain meet, um, but just having fun. And, and as far as the nerves go, just having the same routine, whether it's the first competition of the year or it's the Olympic Games. Um, just having a routine, that just helps ki kind of calm the nerves. Who's your favorite comedian? Jim Carrey. What movie star do people say you resemble? Uh, Denise Richards or Reese Witherspoon. Favorite vacation spot? Kauai. Who's funnier, Will Ferrell or Jack Black? Will Ferrell. Can you spell guacamole as fast as you possibly can? G-U-A-C-O... Guacamole... No. <laughs> no. I'll end it with an easy one. If you could have a superpower, what would it be? I think the same as everyone probably is to fly. I think that would be awesome. I think... I bet it'd be like swimming. Yeah, it, yeah, exactly. <laughs>